Hey guys, welcome to Homework Course. In this video, we're going to see something about DMN, Decision Model and Notation. In DMN, we'll be storing all those decisions in a table. That is decision table. For example, we are having a process where we'll be having a number of decisions, right? Uh, if it is one or two, we can write the decision inside the process itself. But if it goes like 100, 200, 300, then it is really difficult to maintain all those decisions in the process itself. So we can have a separate thing uh, to handle all those decisions. So that is decision table. So here we'll be giving all those decisions. For example, there will be some inputs. Based on the input, there will be some output. And based on the output, we need to route the flow to some other activity. Right. So here uh, the decisions, decision table will be having input and output columns. So here in the input column, we'll be specifying uh, the possible values like input values. And for those possible input values, we'll be mentioning the output as well. So if the request is coming inside the process and we'll be sending that, uh, for example, uh, from the request, we'll be like, you know, we'll be uh, taking two values and based on the two values, we'll be producing an output. And based on that particular output, we need to route the flow to some other activity. So this is how the decision model works. Like, you know, uh, we'll for, take this table as example here, that is, there are two input columns like day input and head count input. So based on these two columns, there'll be an output, which is activity. So here, if, if the day is Monday and the head count is 10, then it'll be producing the output shopping. If the day is Monday and the head count is one, it'll be producing the output sleeping. So likewise, we, we can have as many decisions as we want. Okay, let me explain how to design a decision table. For that, you have to choose file, new file and DMN diagram. Once you have done this, you will get an interface like this. So from here, just drag and drop this one here and select decision table. Okay, once you have done it, you will get uh, a table icon, okay, on top of this one. And then click on it. So you will get the table. So inside the table, you have to specify the name and uh, uh, this is label name, input label name and output label, sorry, this is also input label and an output label. So you can have uh, you can have any number of input and output. So by clicking on this plus, you can add more input columns and by clicking on this plus, you can add more output columns, okay? So here I have two input and one output column. So like if you double click on this, you will get like, you know, a pop-up will appear here. So you can change the label name and you can give the variable name and you can specify the type of that variable. So likewise, you, can, you have to do it for all the uh, input and output fields. And inside that, you'll be you'll be adding like, you know, all those values, input values. For example, now I've done like, if the day is Monday and the headcount is 10, uh, it'll be producing an output shopping. So likewise, I have, uh, have configured seven decisions in this table. So once you're done with this table, just save and deploy it. Once it is deployed, so what you have to do is like, you need to get into cockpit. And go to the decision definitions and my decision definition is sample, right? So I'm clicking on it. So we need to copy that definition ID from here. I've copied it. So and then, so we need to use one URI. This is a URI to, you know, evaluate uh, uh, the decision which we have configured. So uh, up to this, Okay, this is, and then from after this, uh, like a local host 8080 engine rest decision definition. So, and then we need to specify uh, the definition ID. We have copied it, right? Copy it and uh, add this decision ID here. So, and then evaluate. Sorry, how do we clicked it? Copy this, evaluate and paste it. Okay, so this is how we need to uh, modify the URI and copy it 
add it in the postman tool. I've already added it. So this is the URI and choose the post method. So and then we need to select body and raw. So in this, you need to choose JSON. So here we need to give the inputs. For example, like uh, in this modeler, we have we have given day input head count and then the result will be activity, right? So we need to choose, we need to select the variable name. Okay, the variable is day and this variable is head count. So, so in the JSON, we need to uh, prepare a JSON like this. So variables, inside variables, we need to specify day and head count. So day is of type, sorry, day, the value for day is Monday and the type is string. Head count value is two and type is integer. So if I give this value in postman and trigger, I'll be getting chess. So if we want to verify the value, like for example, Monday and the head count is two. If we go and look the decision table, Monday and two, the inputs, day is Monday and the head count is two, then the activity is chess. So here we got chess as output. We'll try with some other value. If the day is Tuesday and the value is five, head count is five, we should get the activity as fishing. So I'm changing the day here, Tuesday, five. So if I hit it, I should get fishing as the response. So we got fishing as response, right? Okay guys, this is how we need to design a decision table and this is how we need to execute the decision table through uh, Postman. So in the next video, we'll see how to integrate this decision table with the process flow. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and support the channel.